Hi, I'm Niall from Gulfstream Boat Sales. Today we're taking a look around a 2008 Glastron MX175 by Ryder. It's fitted with a Volvo Penta 4.3 litre, 190 horsepower stern drive engine. It's a one owner from New Boat. It's on a UK trailer. It's only got 137 hours on the clock and it's in fantastic condition. The main selling point of this boat is that it has that V6 motor. Most of these entry level by Riders tend to be fitted with a 3 litre 4 cylinder engine. And if you're looking to do, if you've got a big family or if you're looking to do water sports, pull teenagers and things behind the boat on wakeboards and stuff, you really want the, the V6 engine. It's unusual in a boat of this size. This one has it and it's also a cracking boat to boot with only 137 hours on the clock. We're going to take a detailed look around the boat. We're going to show you all the features inside. We're going to show you the condition that this one's in. We're going to show you the engine bay and let you see how the thing performs in the water. It's a cracking little boat. It's a rocket ship on way. Performance is fabulous. This is a very straight little boat. Um, it's in beautiful condition all the way around. It looks very sharp as well. The graphics look the part. They're in very good shape. Um, gel coat looks lovely. We just give it a quick uh, compound and polish. Really didn't take much effort to get the boat looking like this. Um, and taking a look down along this port side, you can see um, how well it is. It's looking at the moment. We've got a nice stainless steel rub rail that's in perfect condition all the way along. Stainless steel cleats here. We've got these little eyelets for hanging fenders off. Um, they're all well secured and in good condition. As I said, the gel coat here and the graphics below the rub rail all look really good. The Glaston name badge back here looks good as well. And coming right the way back then to the, uh, to the stern corner, it's in good condition as well. There's no signs of any impact damage, any marks or any cracks in the gel coat here. It's in, in beautiful shape. Taking a look at the nose of this boat, um, it's a very common area to get damaged as you're launching and recovering these boats off the trailer. Um, a couple of very minor scuff marks here, just from putting the boat back on the trailer. But that's the worst of any damage I've been able to find around the hull. Apart from that, everything else is pristine. So the rub rail up here is perfect. Nice little nav light chrome cover, it's in perfect condition. We've got a little pop-up cleat here on this forward sort of area, a little flat deck area which is molded on skin. So if you want to jump on the boat, uh, on the beach or whatever, get a bit of secure footing. And the, with the cleat down, you're not going to stub a toe or trip on it. Um, coming down along the starboard side, again, the stainless steel rub rail is perfect. The gel coat above and below that rail is pristine. The graphics look really good. It's another stainless steel cleat. We've got these little fender eyelets down this side as well. They're all good. Windscreen surrounding the frame, the glass, everything looks the part. Um, coming right down to the back, we've got the fuel fill point here. Um, all the skin fittings are good. And again, on this corner, Rub rail is completely unmarked, no chips or damage to the gel coat. We've got a little uh, hull number plate, shows a 808, which means she's built in 2008, it's a 2008 model year. Um, so it's a nice fresh boat as well, really the waters. But again, the whole thing is in perfect condition. Taking a look across the transom of the boat, um, nice, neat, compact transom. We've got a folding stainless steel uh, bathing ladder, two steps. We've got a handrail here for pulling yourself up out of the water. We've got two stainless steel cleats here, mounted on either side of the stern corner. We've got a nice intricate swim platform. It's probably about a foot deep, so it's not the biggest swim platform in the world, but it is a 17 and a half foot boat, so um, you wouldn't really expect a massive platform. It's across the full width of the boat. We've got a central ski tow point here. Um, it's all mounted very securely. The gel coat's good all around it. And then we've got a big sun pad. Uh, across the back, but we'll take a look at that in a wee moment. The rub rail across the transom is perfect as well, um, and again, condition wise, it's as good as the rest of the hull. The exterior of this boat, and the interior for that matter, is, is like brand new. It's really, really in very nice shape. As I said, this boat's fitted with a Volvo Penta 4.3 litre GL 190 horsepower engine, and that's really a huge selling point. It's definitely sets it apart from, uh, from the other 17 and a half foot by riders on the market. And if you want something for water sports um, or for carrying a lot of people on board, you know, wakeboard and ski and stuff like that, the 4.3 is really the engine of choice. It gives this boat effortless performance um, and it's a um, really fun thing to drive. You'll see for yourself whenever we show you the water test footage. Um, that engine is matched up with this SX Drive. So it's a Volvo Penta SX Drive. It's got a four blade prop. 
So that again helps the boat get up on the plane quickly, gives it really good, it's very good at transmitting the power to the water. Um, the drive itself, very smooth running drive, well proven, they're reliable, and this one is in, uh, is in good condition. The, the, this is the original paint finish, it's all pretty much intact. There's a few little areas, just very light surface corrosion. This is a really common area in these SX drives, it gets a wee bit of surface corrosion, but it's really not that bad. Um, it could be, if it's something that is bothering you, you can rub it down, repaint it, but it's really um, nothing to worry about. It's completely original and, and genuine. There's a, some light scuffing on the bottom of the skeg, but that's just from getting running the, the boat in a wee bit of sand or something. The prop itself looks completely original to me. Some of the paint's starting to come off the blades, but the blades are unmarked. Doesn't, there's no signs of any impact damage. The blades aren't bent or anything. The prop shaft's nice and straight. Um, looking at the seals, you always want to check that the seals on the trim rams are good. and They're both uh, nice and dry. There's no oil leaks or anything from there. And having a look at the bellows, they're nice and pliable as well. You've only got two bellows on a, on a Volvo drive and they, they look to be in, uh, in good condition. Trim motor is mounted externally. It's in perfect shape. You can see that around this side actually. With all the little uh, <coughs> connections and hoses and things are all nice and clean. Um, and uh, mechanically this boat looks to be really good. Stepping inside the boat, um, it's got a nice high-end feel, surprisingly sort of high-end feel with these um, great quality uh, bucket seats for the helmsman and the passenger. We've got the big sun pad across the back and then the bench seat across the, the transom and then we've got the walkthrough windscreen with the seating up on the bow as well. Um, so this, this boat's rated to carry six passengers and there's more than enough seating uh, for six people in here. You get five quite comfortably in the cockpit behind the windscreen and there's room for another two up in the bow. Um, but again, I quite like this layout. It's different to the usual. Nine times out of ten, these entry-level bow riders have two sort of jump seats either side of an engine box um, <clears throat> in the back. This one's a wee bit different where it's got this full width sun pad, deeply upholstered bench seat uh, and then these, these twin uh, twin seats for the helmsman passenger up here, they're swiveling and all the rest of it, flip up bolster and stuff, so um, it's really high quality sort of finish, it's all snap in carpets as well, so it's a full fiberglass deck, which means you can lift the carpet, hit it with a hose um, to, keep it, uh, to keep it clean and it also lasts a lot longer, much higher quality build than your sort of standard. Um, you know, plywood, marine ply, decks with a glued down carpet, so um, it all looks, and condition wise, it looks like brand new, it really is in top notch, top notch condition. Whenever you're sitting on this transom bench seat, you are nice and low down inside the boat. The gunnel comes up to shoulder height here, you've got an integrated handrail on both sides, you've got two cup holders here as well, there's storage underneath each of these seats, um, and it's, it's really well upholstered, nice high backrest, lovely comfortable seat position. If you're sitting having a picnic or a cup of tea or something, you can swivel these seats, these two front seats around. Everybody can sit around having a conversation. Or whenever you're on your way, you're still nice and close. You get some good protection from the windscreen. And it gives you protection from the elements. And this boat also has a full set of camper covers. So with the camper covers on, the hood comes up to a decent, nice decent height. There's a slope and back, but you don't lose any headroom here. So you can sit here quite comfortably, even with all the covers on, if you're out on a rainy day or something. So really good. Uh, good, comfortable, usable setup. The engine access in this boat is really straightforward. You just lift the, the whole sun pad, the entire sun pad, lifts up on a couple of gas assist struts. And we've got excellent uh, service and maintenance access around this uh, Volvo Penta 4.3 liter GL. As I said, it's a V6 engine, it's 190 horsepower. I know I keep harping on about it, but it's really unusual to find this motor in a boat of this size, and it gives this thing phenomenal turn of speed, excellent performance and it's a brilliant little water sports package or even just something if you're looking for a fun sort of sporty uh, day boat. Um, in terms of the condition of this motor, it's immaculate. The boat has only ever been used in fresh water. It's a one owner from new boat. It's only ever been used in fresh water and you can tell that by looking around it. There's not a single spot of corrosion, even on the front pulleys, which are very prone to corrosion in these engines because they're just mild steel. They're completely uh, pristine check out the pictures and stuff as well, you get a better look at this here, but um, the, the manifolds and risers are very good, the original paintwork still on the engine, 
um, it's all in fabulous shape. Just check it, have a wee look at the oil level here. The oil is nice and clean there, good level and all the rest of it. Um, and everything about this looks really good. You'll notice down the side of the engine we've got a couple of plastic storage boxes. They look like they've been retrofitted by the owner at some point, but quite a good idea. If you want to fire life jackets or things down in there, ropes, little jerry can, whatever. Got a good bit of storage down either side of the engine bay. Got a fire extinguisher here, we've got our navigation portal light stores on a little bracket here. Um, and everything is uh, everything's working really well. There's a great little uh, helm position on this boat. Um, as I said, these seats, this wraparound seat is fabulous, really good side support, very nicely upholstered, very comfortable and stuff, even if you're driving the boat for extended periods of time. So that's really good. We've got this nice uh, vinyl wrap steering wheel with the stainless steel center. We've got our throttle and shift lever over here on the right hand side, well positioned. Um, we've got a full range of marine instruments as well. There's a cup holder here too and the windscreen set at a nice height so you can see clearly through the screen and if you want to, um, if you're pulling a skier or something with a boat or you're coming in to dock it, we've got a flip up bolster here as well so you can flip this up and you get great visibility over the front of the windscreen all the way around the boat and over the heads of your backseat passengers too so you can keep a much better eye on what's going on. Now taking a look at this dash, I'll turn it on briefly here because the, the warning alarm, will, the horn will come on as it tests the horn whenever you turn on the ignition. Um, but if you have a look here at the dash, you'll see that everything is working. So I'll just show you what we've got. First of all, we've got a voltmeter, oil pressure gauge, speedo trim gauge, shows you the position of the engine at the back. We've got our taco fuel gauge, uh, engine temperature, and then this is an integrated uh, digital depth sounder as well. So See all the yeah, everything in this boat is working really well. It's starting first turn of the key, it's running really well also. In terms of the bits and pieces of equipment, we've got engine blower. It's working as it should. Bilge pump. Switch up here, we've got navigation light and anchor light switches. They're all working as well. Um, and then we've got our power switch for the stereo. The stereo lives in the, the glove box, we'll show you that in a second. We just turn it off and on here with this little switch. We've got our kill cord here. Volvo kill cord. We've got a status monitor system for the fire alarm. We've got our CE stamp here so we can see a CE category C rated for six passengers. This is a genuine UK boat um, sold by the Northern Ireland glass room dealer to its one and only owner. All the paperwork's there for it as well. All the manuals, the original sale documentation, everything's there. And down in here, if you want to take a look, you can see we've got an hour clock. Currently showing 137.9, I think that says. 137.9 hours which is nothing to a boat like this, really low hours. Uh, condition of the helm is all really good. Dash is in good condition. All these little fixtures and fittings, the windscreen, cup holders, everything looks the part.
I noticed the water test footage there is a bit bumpier looking than usual just because of the way the tide is with the, the river flowing against it the tide's coming in and the wind's blowing the same direction too against the tide so you get like a really short steep chop on the river so it's really choppy it's, it's almost as choppy as I've ever seen it out there um, so the boat did bounce around a wee, a wee bit over the top of it but it handled it really well actually there's, and there's loads of power on tap for working your way up and down over the waves and stuff like that but um, just to sort of explain why it's a wee bit rough looking there, but as I said, this the 175 did a really good job of it, and it's actually a ton of fun to drive too. Um, there's loads of power on tap, and a really great handling wee boat. The passenger seat is the exact same as the helm seat, so you've got that's the same high quality, well bolstered seat. The only difference is there's no flip up bolster on this one, but still a fantastic seat. Beautiful night, beautiful dash here arrangement on the passenger side. We've got an integrated handrail here for your passenger, cup holder, and a big dash or a big glove box compartment. So this is where the owner keeps the uh, this is the, all the original paperwork for the boat. So the original glass from bag, all the engine manuals are in there. The original seals, work, paperwork, everything. Um, as I said, it's one owner from you, so the, the owner kept everything uh, good. We've got a Jensen stereo. Uh, in here as well, and a big storage compartment. So as you can see, the steering wheel is working. Just flick on the power over there, and um, you get a stereo with a single loading, front loading CD player, and we also have a little auxiliary input, so you can pop in, uh, plug in an iPod or an MP3 player or something. So it's all in, uh, all in nice condition. We've got a couple of speakers here in the in the in the cockpit. And pretty decent little sound system. So even like everything in this boat is in perfect condition. You can really tell it's a low hours boat, and it's been well looked after. All the little hinges are good. This little stay for the glove box lid, the little catch and everything. Cup holders. Everything is in uh, perfect working order. Access out into the bow is through this opening windscreen section. Again, the hinges are in perfect condition. You've got a little rubber stop here on, the, on the, the door, two of them, to hold it off this other screen. The windscreen itself is, is like a chrome finish to it. It's completely unblemished and unmarked. If this was a salt water boat, you'd get this. This starts to chrome pretty quickly and stuff like this. But on this one, fresh water boat from you, it's in immaculate condition. The bow area itself is, um, is well set up. So, Nice U-shaped wraparound seating area. We've got this little side bolster in here. Backrest side bolster cushion. There's a handrail for each passenger up here. And also a cup holder, two cup holders. Um, so it's a decent little boy. I mean, it's a 17 and a half foot boat, so there's not a palatial amount of space up here, but it's fine for a couple of kids to sit up here, even an adult or whatever. Um, the, the sides come up pretty high. You got the handrail here. As I said, we've got this little flat area at the front of the bow, so if you're hopping in and out of the boat over the front, you've got a safe foot in there. We've got this little pop-up cleat, used for tying your anchor off to. And then we've got some storage underneath these seats as well. So it's all uh, fiberglass moulded areas up here. Well, this is a big, big flat step actually, so we've got that proper bow walkthrough. Um, so you've got a proper step to get them out, and that's all moulded non skid too, so that's a nice, neat little feature. Um, and then we've got more storage underneath this seat and a couple of wee cubby holes as well and behind these, uh, these backrest cushions. So again, it's a nice high quality construction. Everything's molded, fiberglass. These are all drained as well into the bilge. If you get any water in here, it'll drain down into the bilge. And the condition of everything is absolutely perfect. The upholstery entirely throughout this book is like new. No tears, no nicks, no damage. The carpets up here are perfect as well. Um, I really could not fault this boat in terms of the condition of uh, pretty much everything. Really, really nice boat. In terms of storage, in addition to the storage areas we have in the bow, we've also, as I said, we've got these, these lockers underneath the, 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 the bench seat. We've got those couple of boxes in the engine bay as well. And then we've got a big ski locker in the floor. So it opens up. 
decent sized ski locker, runs right the way up underneath the floor in the bow area as well, so you'll fit skis, a wakeboard, stuff in there. And again, everything's, that hatch is in good condition, the hinges are good and everything. Generally speaking, the condition in, in the cockpit here is like new, that I'm really struggling to point any faults out. There's, I can't find any nicks or tears in the upholstery anywhere. There's no staining, there's no marks, all the fixtures and fittings are all here, all the little clips for the covers and canvas, right down to the button poppers for the covers, the button poppers for the carpets. The carpets themselves have cleaned up really well. If it's been super fussy, I found one little rust spot here, two sorry, here, and another little rust spot here on the carpet. Um, that's it, that's the worst of it. Um, apart from that, the boat's pristine. Really, she's really a credit to her owner. And it's clear that he's taken really good care of it. And um, it hasn't used it very much either. This boat has a great set of covers. It has a tonneau cover, cockpit cover, and a bow cover for whenever you're storing the boat, or maybe towing it or whatever. Um, and then it also has the, the full camper cover, so it has this little spray hood that you can fix on the front. It's got good sitting headroom in underneath it. And as well as this, it has the two side panels for either side, and then the aft curtain that comes sort of at a sort of shallow angle right the way to the back of the boat. So with the camper covers up, you can throw them up, put the bow cover on on a wet day or a blustery day, and you're nice and snug inside the boat. You keep dry, um, so if you're out and the rain comes on, you can get home in comfort. Um, so they're all in nice condition. Everything's here. We'll take some pictures of them with, with the, of the boat with all the covers on, just so you get a better idea. But they're uh, great. Little, it's all the factory original stuff as well. So um, great little set of covers. And I know people love to have this, particularly in this part of the world. They love to have these camper covers. Um, so that's all included as part of the deal. This boat comes complete with this um, in the suspension single axle uh, roller coaster road trailer. So it's a UK spec trailer. It's fully braked, it's got the tailboard, the winch, everything's on it, and it's all in really good condition as well. Um, it, you're going to have no problems towing this boat throughout the country. If, if, you, if you're looking at this boat from the mainland UK, or even further afield through Europe, we can easily transport the boat on that trailer, and even if you want to take the thing away with you for summer holidays and stuff, you're going to have no problems with it whatsoever. The wheel bearings are perfect, the tires are in good condition, the brakes are all good, uh, all the rollers are there and it's a super easy trailer to launch and recover the boat from. Um, so that's all, uh, that's all inc included as part of the deal. One thing I want to point out is you might notice that there's a little bit of uh, corrosion on the mud guards of this trailer. This has happened because the owners obviously used, or somebody at some point has used a bit of acid to clean the hull. So the boat has been kept in the water. You can see that the hull has been happy, but we've tidied that up a bit. Um, but the way you clean the, the growth off at the end of the season is with a little bit of acid, but usually you put it on cloth and wipe it around. But I would say that it's just ripped onto the, the trailer mud guards and it's taken a wee bit of the galvanizing off. It's purely a cosmetic thing, it's nothing to worry about. Apart from that, the trailer's in great shape and as I said, it's included in the deal. So there you go, that's our 2008 Glastrum MX175. To my mind, this has to be one of the cleanest ones on the market um, in terms of the condition. It's a fabulous spec with the UK trailer, with the full camper covers, as well as the bow and cockpit cover, and with that 4.3 liter V6 engine. I know I've been harping on about it <laughs> the whole time, but that is a fabulous thing to have in a boat like this. Particularly if, you, if you're looking for a boat that you can do lots of water sports with, you can pull skiers, pull teenagers and adults with, um, a 4.3 is the way to go. Once you've had a 3 litre and moved to a 4.3 um, owner's rate, but it, you know, it's, it's the only, for water sports, it, it really is the only motor to have. Um, so this boat, as I said, it's like new, one owner, um, it's only ever been used in fresh water, it's only got 137 hours on the clock, um, and I think it rep represents excellent value for money. It's cracking up the package. If you'd like to come out of a look at the boat, or if you've got any questions about it, um, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Please drop me an email to sales at gulfstreamshop.com or fill out the callback request form on this page of the website and I'll call you at a time that's convenient or give me a call on the number on the website here. Thank you very much for watching.